Voting is about submission, not freedom. A lot of people think that uh, our military fought and died so that we would have the right to vote, and they think that we, as Americans, one of the ways that you know that you're free is that you have the, the right to vote. And we, we must defend our right to vote. Um, well, if you are being allowed to vote for something that you really have no choice, no say in the matter, that your vote actually doesn't count, then it's really not much of a right, is it? And um, I believe, quite personally, that this whole voting thing is actually about them seeing if you will submit to the deception that they're pulling off, okay? Now, if I need to do a big theological study on this, I will do it. I'm a preacher, a Bible-believing, King James Bible-believing preacher, and I will go through the scriptures, I will do word studies, I will go and I will do lots of research. That's what I do at King James Video, Video Ministries. I've done it for years. I want to prove things from the scriptures. Your authority must be the scriptures, not me, okay? So if I need to do a very deep, very thorough study on this, I will do it. But I'm just doing a quick video here. Let me know in the comment section if you think I should do a video, a big sermon on this with lots of scripture and everything else. But uh, the best method of determining if something is of the Lord or not is just to simply do a word search in your King James Bible. Um, are we supposed to vote as Christians is your question. Well, what would be a key word search in that question? The word vote. Um, did anybody in the Bible ever vote? Was there any kind of a thing there? You have multiple choice in terms of who gets to lead you and who gets to rule you. Um, was there a vote there? Well, it's kind of an interesting thing because if you look up the word vote in a concordance, uh, it's not in there. But it comes between two words, essentially. Um, there's a word in between this, that, which is vafsi. That's a proper name of a guy or something um, but if you forget the proper name the two words that, it, that vote would be between would be vomiteth and vow <laughs> I had to include that I thought that was pretty interesting if the word vote was going to be in your King James Bible it would be between vomiteth and vow some similarities to voting <laughs> certainly vomiting and vowing do you vow to vomit <laughs> Uh, yes, when I see whoever gets selected again. Um, but the point is, voting isn't in there. Now, do you see any kind of a, a normal thing where they, the Christians are being told, you know, make sure to go out and vote, make sure to uh, pick which leader you want, pray about which leader, you know, and, and things? Um, I don't really see that, okay? Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Put it in the comment section down below show me where they were getting choices about who to vote for and whatever else what I see is um, praying for your leaders which we'll get here to in a minute but uh, I'm going to ask some really pressing questions some questions that are probably going to make um, certain people very worldly Christians a little bit uncomfortable um, question number one can God control a Democrat or a liberal Oh, we just can't let Kamala Harris come in. Don't you remember what she did with the, you know, the Biden administration and uh, whatever else? Um, was God in control? Or did God lose control? Is your God up there in heaven and the Democrats get elected because not enough Christians voted and, and God goes, oh, oh no, oh, I didn't think they were going to win. Oh no, what do I do now? Is that your God? Hmm. Um, question number two. Did Christians vote for Caesar? No. Um, I think the Roman Senate oftentimes would vote for the Caesar. Kind of like the uh, modern day example would be the College of Cardinals votes um, and puts the Pope in. I don't really think it's up to the Catholic faithful, the people themselves, to vote for uh, the best, most qualified Pope. I don't really see that. It's more of uh, the College of Cardinals get to decide. Uh, you say well, it's very similar to the ancient Imperial Rome, isn't it? Yes, it is. The reason for that is because uh, Roman Catholicism is just the newly revised uh, 
religious system of the ancient Roman system, the Iron Legions of Rome. Um, give you another question here. If the guy you voted for loses, did you fail or did God fail? There's another good question for you. Something to think about. Oh, you know, we, we had to get out there and, and um, if enough people would have voted for Trump, we could have had Trump in and, and whatever. Okay. Um, so did the people fail or did God fail? Hmm. Um, you see, the, the real pressing thing here is uh, America is getting worse not because Donald Trump didn't get in the last time. Um, America is getting worse because of personal sin, unrepentant personal sin. You know, we need to get the, you know, the deep state is against Donald Trump. We need to get all this stuff done and whatever. Uh, or it could be the fact that Americans are sinning. Or it could be the fact that people are completely unrepentant in their sin. Maybe that's the reason why America's falling apart. Maybe that's the reason why there are gangs taking over parts of the country now. Maybe. Hmm. Something to think about there, huh? I mean, I know, you know, don't think too hard. You think too much, you might not be a good American. Um, <laughs> but let me read uh, some scriptures to you here. First Timothy chapter 2. Put my little notebook in my back pocket here. Get out my Bible. A little miniature Bible. Not a normal size one, but First Timothy chapter 2. What are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to act? Well, the Bible doesn't say anything at all about um, voting, but it does say about praying. Well, I, I just don't think that that's effective. Or whatever. You don't think prayer is effective? I want to pray about that. Maybe your prayers aren't effective because you're not saved. Did you ever think of that? Examine yourself whether you be in the faith, the Bible says. Well, I'm saved because I go to church and I pray to prayer and, you know, whatever else. So I know I'm in. I know I'm saved. I believed in my heart, so therefore I'm saved automatically. Uh, did your life change? Is the Holy Spirit of truth leading you into all truth? Hmm. First Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 5. Let's read that. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. For kings and for all that are in authority. Okay? Um, the president would be somebody that's in authority. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. Pretty nice and peaceable out here on my property. Hearing the birds singing in the trees and beautiful day out here. Nice, cool, uh, early fall day. Verse 3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. God needs to be your Savior, by the way. Um, you say, well, Jesus is my Savior. Yeah, that's exactly it. Jesus is God. <laughs> uh, if you don't believe that Jesus is God, then you can't have God as your Savior. Think about that. Um, verse 4. Who will have all men to be saved and to come to, unto the knowledge of the truth? For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the Republican candidate that becomes president. Beautiful verse of scripture. We can all take this to the voting, but oh, actually it doesn't say that. It says, uh, for there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. The man, Christ Jesus, is to be your mediator. He's to be the one that protects you. My high priest, after the order of Melchizedek. Um, that's Jesus Christ, if you're saved. If you're lost, well, then you don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm sure it's a real mystery to you. Um, another point, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, I'm not going to turn to it in my little Bible, but if you're familiar with the verse, the Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but it goes on to the rulers of the darkness of this world and everything else, spiritual wickedness in high places. Um, then how can you defeat them by getting a guy like Donald Trump? Hmm, it's kind of an interesting thing, isn't it? Um, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we can wrestle flesh and uh, the spiritual wickedness with a flesh and blood leader. 
No, you can't. Um, just been thinking about this the last couple days and I, I am convinced that what they want to do is they want to see how many people. It's a, this voting thing is a gauge to see how well they are deceiving people. And um, that's why they get so concerned. We need your vote. We have to have your vote. Um, they, can, they can just skew the results and do all kinds of things. Um, I honestly believe 100% that Donald Trump, that the American people voted him in again for a second term last time. And they did their little tweaking and twisting and whatever else. And, uh, oh, Biden won. How could the guy win? I mean, I realize that there are some really idiotic uh, liberals in the city and everything. I get it. But uh, Biden? And uh, look what he did to the country. Yeah, well, Trump's going to do it even worse. Coming up into the future here. But they need that vote. Because that way they can see that you're going to submit. And, um, you know, again, people, they misunderstand what I'm trying to say with all of this stuff. And they say, well, then you must be for, uh, you know, Kamala Harris. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not for her at all. I'm not a, a liberal Democrat. Well, if you're not for Trump, then you're for her. No, I don't, I'm not for the whole thing. It's a scam. It's all a lie. All right? Uh, I'm not going to fall for it. I don't fall for it. Uh, they come out with all their little you know, things back and forth, and, oh, you know, Kamala Harris, she did this, and she didn't protect the border, and she's supposed to be the border czar, and, you know, I hear all that stuff. I listen to it, but uh, I don't fall for it. I don't believe in it. And quite frankly, I think what's going on is uh, they're getting ready to put Trump in. I believe 100% that they're going to put that man in, uh, the the different powers and things, the spiritual powers, um, they're going to benefit far more from Trump than they would from Kamala Harris. But see, as a Christian, I'm going to stand back and say, you know what, it doesn't matter who gets put in. I need to make sure that my life is cleaned up, that I am living right, that I am living in accordance with the Word of God. And whatever ruler or leader or whatever gets put in there, uh, those rulers are going to be a terror to the to the evil all right and that's ultimately what's going on right now um under donald trump they had the whole operation warp speed and a whole lot of people died as a result of that you know what i'm talking about and uh, a lot more people are about to die from it more people dying all the time i know people up here that died from it uh, it was a terrible thing that he pulled off and uh, he started it, Biden continued it. Hmm. Um, why did he do that? Well, because there was a lot of evil people, a lot of wicked people here in America that uh, were not repenting of their sins. See, you know, there's another big problem with this thing of the modern day Christian. The modern day Christian thinks that they can just become a Christian and they don't have to live for the Lord, and they don't have to be convicted of sin, and. You go to your church and you feel good about yourself. And, uh, you know, you go there and they give these uh, feminars for the women and, and little uh, effeminate videos and, or little sermons and things. Uh, some guy up there in skinny jeans giving you a, a neat little motivational speech. And he gets you all excited about living and, you know, all this other stuff. Uh, what about conviction of sin? What about a preacher up there preaching at you and saying, you're a sinner. You do this wrong, you do that wrong, all these other things. A man of God that has gotten the beam out of his own eye so he can see clearly to get the speck out of the other people's eyes. I preach very hard on sin. Very, very hard against sin. A lot of people say, oh, you're really kicked when, you, you know, when you're preaching. Yes, I have to. You know why? Because I've been a real great sinner in my past. Still a sinner, but not like I once was. Praise God. Thank the Lord for giving me a lot of victory over the years. Uh, victory over sin. Conquering one sin after another and, and just constantly trying to keep my body down, trying to say, keep the flesh down. I'm never going to get to the point where I just say, ah, just let it rip, you know, whatever. Because I'd destroy myself very quickly. 
If there was no restraint there of the Holy Spirit in my life, don't eat that, don't listen to that, don't watch that, don't say that, don't think that. If that wasn't there, I would destroy myself quickly. I want the Holy Spirit there to convict me of sin and to say, um, you need to stop. Stop that, Brian. Don't do that. I need my Heavenly Father to guide me and direct me and to make me feel bad when I sin. You don't feel that way? Well, you need to get saved because you're not. Um, but uh, let me know your thoughts on this whole thing. Uh, I know a lot of you are just convinced that it's your vote is so important. You have to show your support. Well, go ahead. Um, do what you want. I can't convince some people, but I am. But myself personally, I am fully persuaded that that's what what voting is all about. It's about seeing if you will submit to the lies and the deception that they're putting out out there. Um, and again, 100%, I believe that Donald Trump is going to be, going to be put in. But see, they have to gauge reactions and they have to watch things and whatever else. Uh, the assassination thing was a failure. There were so many problems with that story that they brought out. A lot of people don't trust it, myself included. Uh, there's a whole lot of problems. I mean, just the, the thing, you look at his ear, it looks like mine. You get shot with a 5.56 five, in the ear, it goes through like that, you're going to have a big sizable hole there. There's no hole. Oh, I'm a quick healer. Yeah, sure. Right, uh-huh. Um, but they're going to pull off more things, but I feel that they'll put Donald Trump in. And the reason I'm going to speak against him is because I want to hold that man's feet to the fire. And I want to hold Christians, just say to Christians, don't trust him. Don't trust him. They put that man in, you better start praying. Because he really uh, did some bad stuff the last time to this country. And he's going to do even worse things in the future. And so will Kamala Harris or whoever else they might bring out before then or Lord only knows what um, so that will be it for this video just felt that I needed to put this one thing out there um, if I'm wrong please correct me in the comments does the Bible ever say or insinuate or anything else that we are supposed to vote all right um, that we should be I mean I say well, should we, we shouldn't be involved in the political process no i think it's fine for a christian to run for some kind of an office that's fine the lord calls you to do that you know, right now i don't think you'd ever get into anything of any other than just maybe some local government stuff but um what i'm saying is to get yourself all worked up and oh, we have to vote oh, it's so important your vote means so much this year um i don't really see any scriptural basis for that but i'll be corrected if i'm wrong Put it in the comment section below from the King James Bible. I'm not interested in your new versions that come from the Vatican. Uh, those things, they change all kinds of stuff. So don't waste your time with those. Um, but King James scriptures in the comment section, show me where I'm wrong. The Christians are supposed to get involved in the voting process. So that will be it. Thank you for watching.